Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Danny. I uh, got a video I want to do for you tonight. I actually have some new cards that I got from my mom um, right here. I also have uh, the 1960 set here um, and then I've got my old school collector's kits here and I'm actually going to start building these. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We're going to go through some cards. I'm going to set my GoPro up, and then we'll see what we can get into. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so hopefully this will work. I am um, going to film this on my GoPro. So first things first is my mom got me some 1958s here that I'd like to go through first. That one, uh, Dick Long, or Dale Long, excuse me, is kind of uh, off-center pretty bad, but uh, it's a pretty cool card. Hank Foyles, Hobie Landreth, Felix Mantia, Jim Lemon, Eddie Clasco, and we finish with a Veda Pinson. So super cool cards. It's like uh, two, four, six, seven of those. So super excited to have them. And then we got some 50 or some 1960 cards here. And we'll just start off here with a Jim Perry, uh, Bob Elliott. I won't read everyone uh, to you, but it's pretty cool stuff. And um, so one of the things, there's a Chicago White Sox team card, Bob Boyd there. One of the things that I'm working on is getting my mom a checklist. And so lots of cards here. We'll get into some of these. There's Joe Gordon. Shout out to Reindeer. Uh, there is some rookie stars here. Duke Carmel, Bob Bruce. There is the Reds card, which is fabulous. Tom Borland. Chico Cardenas, and I can't see if I'm, you know, on camera here or not. The funny thing was she picked up two Kurt Floods. This one right here is in really nice shape. Corners are sharp. The centering is pretty good. The high low is off a little bit. The next one, you know, so I'll probably keep this one and find something to do. Got a Don Zimmer there as well as a Whitey Herzog with a big chaw to back in it. So, anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cards off camera. I'm going to put them in order. And then we're going to see about possibly doing a real quick video, talk about how we're going to build the, the binder, and then maybe we'll do a time-lapse video of me putting it together. So you guys stay tuned. Thanks. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, here's my stack of cards, and I still need to go through these and update my spreadsheet. And I got my old albums out here, and I did look, and there are a couple more of these out for sale on eBay. Um, I don't have enough for the whole set. I think it holds 216 cards, something like that. So it'd be enough for like 432. Uh, the set's bigger than that, obviously. So I'm going to need a third one. But what I may do is see just how full I can get these in order and then hold on to the others. So we'll do a time lapse maybe of me trying to put these things together. Of course, after I update my spreadsheet. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back and then we'll do this together. Thanks. Okay, so real quick, what I decided to do is take the cards and they were in penny sleeves a certain way. I want the opening of the penny sleeve to be this way. So if the card slides, it slides towards the center of the book. Uh, but that's basically cards one through nine in the book and how it's going to look. Now what I plan to do is take one of these little discs right here, which is peel off, stick it in the center, okay, of the of the page i'm trying to tuck them in these corners it was tearing them and i'm hoping that i can put that in the center it'll just stick to the the penny sleeve it'll hold that in place and uh so we're going to fill it up this way i'll do this first page and we'll see what it looks like y'all stay tuned <laughs> okay so it took eight forevers but the I was going to say the cards don't fall off, but they can slide out. So <laughs> I'll have to put that dude back in there. So I have to be careful. Um, this isn't something I would take and uh, get out often because the cards do slide out of the penny sleeve. So I may need to, to consider that 
Uh, but man, I just dig how it's turning out. It's functioning just like I wanted it to. So uh, I'm going to do some more of these and uh, just see how far I can get tonight. I decided not to do the time lapse on it because it takes so long to do it. Um, but uh, we'll do a few more pages and we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Um, coming back, got my GoPro out. It, it is might even be a couple of weeks since I started working on this project. Um, recognize that I did finish what I was starting out to do, but I never went back and filmed it. So I wanted to showcase this um, this card collecting kit uh, hobby album uh, that I got. I wound up putting all these cards in there. Um, I use like the little discs uh, to mount it. Now the cards that are on this side, I had to turn the penny sleeves the opposite direction so that if the cards slide out, they slide towards the center. Now there are several cards that I still don't have in this set, um, but uh, through I think 214, I, I have the lion's share of this 1960 set. Um, some pages that are completely full, which is pretty cool. Uh, I wanna thank my mom for that. Um, now I did, <laughs> discover that the center pages in here are not uh there's nelly fox are not stapled they've been kind of ripped out uh you see a pretty good gap here where you've got some of these rookies from 1960 uh, and then you know again uh rookies uh gap there and then it kind of picks back up and things kind of fill back in pretty well veda pence in here billy martin uh so we've got some minor stars throughout uh, this this early part of the collection but uh, I just man I just I can't describe how much I appreciate the fact that I've got these 1960 cards in an album that a kid you know built again there's a the kid's handwriting uh, I started at card one and I got to I guess 214 something like that so it's not it's not quite going to match up what the kid had um, but I think it's just fabulous. So anyhow, um, if you uh, like this video, I've got some cards. I've got some doubles, uh, the 1960 uh, set. I've, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a giveaway. And I'm not going to advertise it necessarily in the, in the title. I'm going to see how many people watch it. But uh, what I want you to do is, is in your comment, I want you to put hashtag 1960. And if you'll do that, uh, you let me know that you're kind of in the running for this. Um, I've got a couple. Um, there's there's some, again, a few minor, minor stars. I think I got a Kurt Flood uh, double in there. And just, some, I don't know, it's 25, 30 cards, something like that. Not a, not a huge stack. But for you TTMers, there might be a few guys that, that are still around that like to TTM uh, that you'd be interested in. Um, but, yeah, leave... The hashtag 1960 in your comment there's whitey herzog and uh we will um you know draw a winner for that at some point my mom was like thinking it'd be cool if we could there's don zimmer uh do a do a giveaway bill mazeroski uh on this stuff and so i think it'd be neat some of these cards are just in fabulous shape so um that's going to do it uh for today's video guys like always i tell you to Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Sorry, I've, I've been gone for a minute. I've been moving kids to college and different things. So um, nice Willie Mays card there. But uh, that's going to do it. And uh, we'll see if we can't get some cards given away. Uh, guys, always peace out. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.